All right guys, Keenan Cornelius here, and today I'm gonna to show you a new style of passing that hasn't hit the mainstream yet, but it's going to soon. This is a really effective way to pass a guard, and it's really effective at dealing with all the new sort of crazy barambolo lapel type stuff that everyone's doing nowadays. It's called the wrecking ball pass because it just smashes through everything and it forces them to let go all grips, and they just have to fight for their life to maintain their guard. So obviously gonna go down on his back. All right, so whenever we're in a position, we'll just, he'll just tie me up in spider guard, let's say. So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the spider guard grip break where you step on the opposite leg and rip your hand out. Okay, and most people just rip their hand out and then they stay, they step back and then they start to try and pass like this without the grip. But what I want you to do is when you go to break grips like that, I want you to step on the thigh and take a step out to your left and maintain that foot on his thigh the whole time. Okay, what that does is it locks his hips in place. Now, no matter, no matter where he tries to shrimp, he has all 190 of my pounds on his leg. He's stuck. Now, all I have to contend with is one leg, okay? Would you rather pass the guy's guard who has two legs or has one leg? It's always going to be easier if he only has one leg, okay? So, from here, all I'm going to do is grab the uh, other pant grip right here, and I'm going to push it behind me like, I'm, like a leg drag position, like I'm trying to push it back. As I push it back, he may try and rotate this foot in front or do something like that. This is a normal uh, thing I run into. People like to lock that foot in front. If that happens, we're not in any danger in any way. We're just gonna reach in and unhook it and just continue our pass. Now I want you to squat down and grab the collar, okay? By grabbing the collar, I'm lifting his shoulders off the mat, which makes it even harder for him to use his legs and pull his legs up, okay? Just like the same concept if I'm passing someone's guard and I'm here and he's trying to throw his legs over, if I pull his head up and pull myself into him, it makes it more difficult for him to throw his legs in front of my head. So we're doing the same concept, but I'm just putting my foot on his thigh here. I'm here, grabbing like this, I shove this leg down and pass me, okay? As I walk through the neon belly. Okay, it's incredibly simple and incredibly effective. If you have a guy who's real squirmy, and you go to step on his leg, and he's really tying you up, and you're not, and you're having trouble passing, and he's keeping his thigh over his chest, which is what the guy here on the bottom wants to do. If he get, lets his thigh go to the mat here, it's a lot uh, worse for him. But if he keeps his thigh over his chest and can maintain that position and rotate around to stop me, redirect the pressure on my foot, he'll have a lot more success. So what I do when I run into that situation is I step and I open up his leg and I step on his ankle. Okay. Now look, I have a lot of balance right here. It's surprisingly easy to maintain your balance. He can't really off balance me because I'm controlling his hips so well, okay? From this position, we can continue to try and pass this way, but chances are if he's really squirmy, he's gonna be able to maintain his leg in front and I won't be able to get past it. So all I'm gonna do, keep my foot on the ankle, take a big step to my right to go into the leg drag position. I keep my foot on his ankle. If I take my foot off the ankle, this leg is just gonna throw in front and now I'm back on his guard having to deal with that. So I maintain that foot on his leg. If I need to, I can step up higher. As I pass, pull the leg drag through, grab the collar, and immediately go down into our leg drag position to pass real easily, okay? And it's really hard for him to pull us to 50-50 when we have our heel on him like this. Even if he gets an underhook, whatever he does, it's easier for me to straighten my leg back, hook it behind his leg so he can't pull me to 50-50. Because most people, when you go leg drag, they try and pull you to 50-50 and then you're all tangled up in their, their guard, okay? So there's a few ways to do that pass. We can step with our left foot, we can step with our right foot. I started doing this um, a few years back. Maybe you guys saw my match against Paul Meow where I did the kick pass. That's all off this passing system. I have never shown it before. Um, I've seen a few guys start to use it as well, like Sebastian Broach, so I thought I'd uh, go ahead and give my take on it. Now, we can use the same side foot or the cross foot. If we're doing the knee cut style step, I do the cross foot. Cross foot here, grab the pants, shove it behind us, crouch down, grab the head, and turn through, going into knee on belly. All the while maintaining that control. If I do the same side grip, step here, I'm attacking the leg drag. If the leg drag doesn't work, he's pulling this leg away, I can't get the leg drag, I'm just gonna step to his ankle, step to his other thigh with the cross step, and I can continue passing this way. Okay, now this guard's really good. If he kind of tries to turn up into a single leg on me, here, I can do the long step pass here, hook the arm, and pass like that. So that's the wrecking ball pass, okay? All that style of stepping on the legs, we can just blast through people's guards really easily. And no one's doing that yet, so no one has any defenses for it. 